Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips To Go. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your VeChain VET tokens from crypto.com over to your Nano Ledger S or your Nano Ledger X. So let's get into the video. All right, so this is a special request for someone in the group. They were asking me, how do I transfer, you know, if I just purchase some cryptocurrency or some Bitcoin and I purchased it on crypto.com and I have some VET, how do I transfer it securely and store it safely on my Nano Ledger S or my Nano Ledger X? So I did make a complete tutorial on how to get set up with your Nano Ledger S and how to use VeChain Sync. So in this video, you're gonna need a couple of things. Obviously, you're gonna need your Nano Ledger S or your Nano Ledger X. You're gonna, well, obviously, you're gonna have your crypto.com account. Um, I'm gonna show you this from my desktop. So I'm gonna be doing everything from the desktop. I won't be using mobile phones. So I like to do this uh, more or less on my mobile phone, sorry, on my desktop, just so, um, you know, it's a lot easier than just doing it from your phone. Unless you, you have something like Atomic Wallet. I really like Atomic Wallet, but I find it more safer when you have a Nano Ledger S or Nano Ledger X, because even if you lose your Nano Ledger S or your Nano Ledger X, um, you lose the actual physical wallet, you could always restore it or have it backed up, etc. Uh, the only worry and concern that I have with Atomic Wallet is, let's say someone gets access to your phone and, um, you know, you don't have everything stored securely or safely in terms of um, facial recognition, passcodes, etc., email, someone gets access to your phone, maybe they have access to your email while it's open, etc. So this is the reason why I like um, the Ledger S or the Nano Ledger X. So let's get into the video here. So we are on my desktop right now, so I'm going to be showing you this on my Mac. Now, what we want to do is look for VeChain Sync. So over, it's called Sync. So let's just look for S. So we're going to double click on that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to use the VeChain Manager. So you're going to click on the VeChain Manager. Let me just expand this window. So click on Manager. So the first thing you want to do, uh, as you can see, we can't log in unless you've got your Nano Ledger S hooked up into your micro USB, put in your, uh, I think it's like a six character code or seven character code. Once you have that, then you wanna scroll to the left or the right until you see VeChain. Now, when you see VeChain, you wanna press both buttons, the two top buttons, okay? So now everything is ready and then you wanna log in. So we log in and we accept the terms and click on proceed and then you select your wallet see right now it's showing me my balance my amount how much vthor i have so i can confirm this yeah it matches exactly what i have on my mobile wallet called the vchain thor observer so i have vchain thor observer now vchain thor observer and let me just show you this let me just connect my phone so as you can see right here in the top I have mainnet main vet i named it my wallet called main vet and i it's underneath the observe so i can't really do much here except for um look at my wallet address receive funds but this is just the observe wallet so basically uh to view your main account so let's get back into uh, vchain sync so over vchain sync you can compare your amounts and obviously well usually you're just going to have one account so let's go over here we can look at the assets, so we have that much VET. And now we can just see, if you have multiple wallet addresses, you can scroll in over here and actually scroll and see your balances. So this matches exactly. So now I'm gonna grant, I'm gonna select next. Now make sure that your ledger is not asleep. So it's gonna say sign the certificate with a check mark box on the right and an X mark on the left. This is on your physical Nano Ledger S or X. So look at your, your certification hash that you need to approve. Click the right button to select the check mark. So now that you selected it, it allows us in. So now we can see everything on my Ledger S via, via the VeChain Manager or the VeChain Sync Manager. I can look at my address, the dashboard, the funds, the amount in euros, the amount in USD, I can receive, send. So now the next thing we're going to do, let's come over to crypto.com. So now we have crypto.com. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to uh, balances. 
and we're going to scroll down over to vet so we can do a search and we can go to vet got a small amount here of vet so i've got twenty-five thousand vet over here now what we want to do is select withdrawal so we're going to go select on the crypto.com app or do you want to select to an external wallet so we'll select external wallet because i'm going to put this into my v chain sync so now what it's asking us to do is set up 2fa to withdrawal so over here we could go to you know 2fa so with 2fa let's just select this okay so now what we're going to do install google authenticator so if you don't have google authenticator very easy to use so let's just uh, i just type in authenticator authenticator so let's click on authenticator now what we're going to do is we're going to select this little plus icon now we're going to scan barcode okay so we're going to scan barcode so now i'm going to scan that barcode click scan barcode and i'm actually going to put my phone and hover over here so now my authenticator my 2fa is already selected and ready to go so now we can actually put in our code once it refreshes so let's put in our code so now it's enabled perfect so now what we can do is we could go to manage addresses so now we can put in our vtrain um, vtrain wallet address so let's add a wallet address the coin we want to call it vet right now we want to enter the address so here's a label we'll just call it uh, vet main okay so vet main now let's go to vtrain sync where we can get our main address so over here we want to actually receive funds so let's receive funds now we're just going to copy this we're going to click this little button here copy okay and you could verify it at the top right here so we're going to copy that go back to crypto.com now we're going to go back to crypto.com and we're going to paste this address here so we pasted that address now we're going to go back to google authenticator now let's get that six digit code on google authenticator now let's put it in and we're going to save address perfect so now we got our vet main so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a withdrawal we're going to go to um, balances and let's just do a withdrawal so let's go back up to vet or search for vet let's do a withdrawal let's select an external wallet address so now we can highlight go to vet main and the amount transaction fees 100 vet geez anyways let's uh let's just do a sample amount let's just do um let's just do 2000 vet so the minimum withdrawal amount is 2000 vet so we're going to do 2000 vet we're going to review withdrawal now we're going to go over here we're looking at the amount 2000 vet now we're going to verify this address again now you just go back to your vtrain sync manager and you can just verify the address by clicking on receive funds and just look at the key this address and now you can receive it so let's go back to crypto.com now you put in your 2fa code your google authenticator code again now we're going to put that in and we are going to confirm so it says success so now what we can do let's go to vtrain sync and see and do a refresh to see if it actually went through should come pretty pretty fast because vet is pretty fast here so we can look at history so over here we could actually look at you know the recent transfers so i just did a refresh i got a notification on my mobile phone so that was good i got a notification because of my vtrain sync manager was up and running so i got that notification so now i'm just going to go to my dashboard and let's take a look at the history here so over here it says uh, received 1900 vet because the vet transaction fee was 100 vet so i got 1900 
So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to transfer all of the 23,900 left. So let's go back, let's go to crypto.com. Now let's just, now that we know that address works, so 23,100, I'm going to do a withdrawal on the remaining balance. So I'm going to select external wallet. Let's go to our managed addresses. Now let's select the main and let's go withdraw all. Let's review it. We know that it's good because we only have one address in there. So review withdrawal. It's going to cost one. It's going to sorry. It's going to cost 100 vet, which is great. Now let's review withdrawal. Let's look at it. Now enter your 2FA code and confirm. So success, perfect, top right. So now all we have to do is just wait for it to come and that should be it. So it's pretty straightforward. Other uh, things that you can do and look around here in, in the mainnet or in this VChain manager is look at the VET to VTHOR ratio. So if you wanted to see you know, how much VET VTHOR was, you could actually go to CoinGecko and look at it. But this kind of gives you the ratio of one to nine roughly from VET to uh, VTHOR ratio. So it's one ninth. Uh, the current VTOR price, uh, 0 0.00178. Um, I like it because it's going up. Pretty sure we're going to see it about a penny or two. And then the current VET price in USD is uh, 0 0.0160, a little bit down today. Uh, VChain has kind of been struggling, but, you know, just temporary, guys. Just be patient. You know, I'm pretty sure we're going to get some big news, some main net fireworks. If we actually look at VChain stats, uh, here's VChain stats. VChain stats is doing very well. Let's just do a refresh on this. So if we actually look at the VTHOR burn rate, uh, yesterday we actually did pretty much like 6 million VTHOR burn rate, which is really good. And today we did 5.37, which is good. Uh, I'm really liking it. So that is it. That's everything for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.